Dev Patel's Monkey Man is pure cinema, and I think we all should have expected that the second we saw the trailer, and then also found out that he's going to be directing this for the first time. This He wrote it, he produced it, and again, he stars in it, and it's a lot more than just john wick in india like that that's kind of like what a lot of reviews and a lot of reactions have kind of been toting and saying what this film is but it's really a lot more than that and that's like one of the things that was so surprising to me on such a level of what this film was able to accomplish and specifically what dev patel was able to accomplish as a first time director and if you don't know there's a lot of background stories to this film and specifically what dev patel had to do to get this film made but we'll talk about that in a second i definitely want to hear your guys thoughts down below in the comment section so make sure to leave your thoughts down there hit that like and subscribe button for more movie and tv content like this and if you don't know what monkey man is and this is your first First time hearing about the film well it's about a young man who unleashes a campaign of vengeance against the corrupt leaders who murdered his mother and continue to systematically victimize the poor and the powerless again starring the likes of dev patel it's written by dev patel it's directed by dev patel and he had a huge process of getting this film made and it's very interesting because when you go back and start at like the beginning of the story when the trailer had first popped out and they started the marketing role on this this is coming from producer Jordan Peele, who has made great films like Nope, Get Out, and of course Us, but he's also someone who runs Monkey Paw Productions, and his production team, he went and grabbed this film after he had seen it, because originally the film was supposed to be over at Netflix, and Jordan Peele saw this and said, this does not need to be going on streaming. This needs to be seen in theaters. He called up Universal, got them to buy it. And now here we are with Monkey Man. But it even stems more from that. Like, you find out that, like, Dev Patel, like, broke one of his hands while filming this movie. You also find out that, like, they had to get, like, a screw in there. And then they broke a camera. And, like, one of their financiers pulled out. Or, like, a location wasn't shown. This film felt like something that took from hell and back to personally get made. And those kind of stories, like when you hear from behind the scenes, you hope that like the film itself ends up turning out to be great. And this film is all that same representation is what's going on in the film here. It's kind of crazy that it kind of represents real life to a certain degree. And to kind of just speak about Monkey Man, like this film should just be if there's any directorial debut to see this year, it would be Monkey Man personally. Like this for me is like one of those feature debuts that while it is not perfect, it's kind of one of those films that you watch and you're like, holy shit, like where has Dev Patel been all this time doing things like this? Because we've all known that he's been an incredible actor, but for someone to pull out all the stops and be in every single one of those limelights and really much accomplish something that is unlike anything we've seen from him as an actor before and do it all again as a director as a producer as a writer and specifically acting it is to shine such a limelight and i think monkey man is one of those films that at first and like just to get my one big issue out of the way at first while watching this movie i didn't know how to feel about it because it is very slow and i don't think the trailer sold that but the film is very slow in its first half. And it's one of those first halves, though, that while it is a slow build, and I think it's a little bit rough, like, there's certain things I probably would have adjusted. Like, I probably would have, like, made one flashback sequence way earlier in the movie. And I still think it would have given me the same grievance and vengeance and fire that the film wants to build up. But there's a couple things I would have moved around. But this film builds at such a slow pace like a fire starting like from one ember. And while that fire is starting, that first half, you're watching it. And, you know, you're one to cheer for Dev Patel. You're starting to understand that, like, something here happened, and you want to know what happened. Why does he want this vengeance? You know, it happened to do with the murder of his mother, but you don't know how she died or what happened. You can only put two and two together until you actually see what happens. And before that all, in the first half of the film, it's very staticky it's very run of the mill and it's very hard to watch to a certain degree because it's just rough it's rough to a multiple layers i think some some of that could be actually the script and again i would have changed certain things but it's rough in the sense of how they film a lot of the early action scenes dev patel's getting his ass kicked just completely wiped off the floor and like his first actual main attempt towards the vengeance people is very not gone well. I would even say that the way it was shot, while good, 
wasn't what I was expecting. But then the second half kicks in. And that fire I was talking about that was like lighting, that while it was already lit under Dev Patel, it wasn't fully blown up yet. And the same thing can be said about me, and I feel the audience as well. That by the point of the second act, or the second half of the film, that fire is so big, you want you just want him to go murder everyone. And that fire that you're feeling is the same thing that his character is feeling. So while I do think the first half is a little rough and a little slow, it was worth it. The payoff of it was worth it. I just have to let you know that the film is slower. It's not a full-on action film. It does want to give emotional depth to its character. It does want to deliver that. Not a John Wick thing where it's trying to build up the lore of like an assassin world. Like this feels more relevant and real today than honestly a lot of other action films would be. And like the way that it actually does talk about the systematical victimizing of the poor and the powerless is really devastating. Really, it brings you into this entire thing. And again, Dev Patel has a lot more to say in this film than just displaying action. And for a first time director to again, make a film that does have its issues, but to deliver on those and to deliver a feeling to you, you could feel the entire tone of the room changing in that moment. And I, I loved, I loved what Dev Patel was able to do with that. Loved him in the movie. I thought his performance was absolutely incredible. He really is the main star of this. Everyone else is very one note to a certain degree. And you don't really need to know more about them because Dev Patel is the main star. Like for 98% of this movie, he's the one on the center screen. I think what a lot of people are going into this movie though is for the action, which the action is probably some of the most visceral and violent shit that I've seen in like an actual movie in theaters. And a lot of people will jump up and talk about John Wick and how great that action is and how visceral and violent it is too there but monkey man's like to a certain different degree of that because like there's times in here where you're just seeing him completely bait the shit out of someone with like this like little knife thing and there's just blood splattering everywhere and there's like more blood in this movie than i think most john wick films like when they blow up someone or hit someone in the face like you feel every single punch the fact that like the way that they actually shot a lot of the action scenes specifically in that second half the way that they capture all the movement like really does make you feel like you are into the fights itself. You never feel like you're losing a moment or a lack of it. And a lot of those fight scenes can also be acclaimed not just from the cinematography level and the way that they shot it, but also from the editing style. The editing is very well done That to the fact that even if they don't capture what they're going for, I do very much a Paul Greengrass thing where it's a little shaky cam, but it's to the perfect degree of shaky cam. It's never getting in the way. You're able to see what's going on. You're able to tell who is winning in the fight. And I was so, it was very glorious to say, because I'm, I'm not a fan of shaky cam, but Dev Patel did a really good job creating these moments and making you feel like you're there. And being able to cheer for a character, because like there's even some nice little bits of humor towards in the film and specifically as you're following him like one little thing is like he's trying to fight one guy and he takes him out in like one hit where like earlier in the film this guy just like completely decimates this dude one hit just takes one hit and it's great to see those little instances and those little nuances to monkey man itself and what they were able to accomplish there all those little things that just keep growing and making the film better the score the soundtrack all the vibes of the movie. Monkey Man is more than what I expected, and I'm happy to see that because this film really does deliver the goods. This is the directorial debut to see in 2024, a visceral, violent, and deep movie that might start off slow, but slowly builds a fire that once it goes up, it will hold you in its fist until the credits start to roll. Dev Patel is everything literally in this. Like, if you look at everything, sole reason why this movie got made, I have some issues with the first half of the film, but it doesn't hold back. Like, I will say the first half, while a slow burn, you're waiting for something to happen Happen, it is building up that emotion it's building up that fire that you need to feel at the same time for Dev Patel so when he does kick into action in the second half you are completely and intertwined and not looking away because this film really does not take away from the action like the action is brutal so with all that said, I, I really do think Monkey Man is a pure cinema experience this is one of those movies that I think when you do go and see it just expect it's not all action 
it is going to deliver some emotional value it may make you feel and think a little bit more about a different area of the world that you've never really thought of before so with all that said i'm gonna give monkey man a b plus leave your thoughts down below did you like it did you hate it you love it and of course until next time stay classy mm -hmm.